All right, guys, this is the final installment on the road to Thailand. Now, you've seen me play this morning, poorly, and it was very cold, and I was layered up. I've taken my skin off now. That thing felt like a straight jacket, perhaps because I've put on a few pounds. So I'm gonna go have my final lesson before I go away. Going in the studio, it'd be nice and warm, so I'll be able to get this jumper off too. And uh, we'll see how many beans make five. Now this isn't gonna be a full length 40 minute of my lesson. I'm just gonna chop up a few highlights and uh, things that I need to work on while I'm on holiday. Things, little reminders of where I want my swing to go, what direction I wanna move it in. So uh, we'll get down to the studio and uh, see what's what. So let's put that on the record. Right, on 40. Let's have, a, let's have a little loosen, although you have played this morning. Well, sort of. It's a serious tripod there, isn't it? Yeah, the, the, I had cheap ones, 29.99 things. Yeah, that's what I've got over there. And the plastic bits break. Yeah. So eventually I had to get that. That was sort of like 99. So simple reminders like get out towards my head cover there. Yeah. Stick my bottom out a bit. Mm -hmm. Which I don't always remember on the golf course. That's that's always the hard bit is remembering on the golf course. Gosh, Mizuno shoes. You don't see many of them, do you? Or Mizuno, as they say. They're thirty quid cheaper than the Foot Joys. Really? Yeah. You forget what a big brand it is in Asia, don't you? Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. That was a bit of a shove, wasn't it? Not surprised. So out over. Now yeah, very inside you were there. Yeah, that didn't surprise me. Nice. Second one in the hole. Not bad. Not bad at all. <clears throat> I'm not quite doing this on the golf course because there's there's too many thoughts. Yeah. And of course I'm lugging that thing around with me as yeah. well, and then. Oh, what am I going to say on the next hole? That sort of thing. So it's out towards my head cover. Stick your bottom out. I've got so much at the moment is being cold and being wrapped up. Yeah, yeah. Right. See, I'm just not hitting this, like, out there. Which is fine. The point is, we know you can do it. Yeah. So it's in there. The more you work at it, it will eventually come from the homework to the exam paper. Oh, indeed, really yeah. good video. I've been a bit mean here because I filmed you before you were swinging. But just <coughs> to highlight that thing we've talked about of feel and real. Yeah. So you've got the head cover there. You're saying all the right things. Your practice drill is lovely. So you're going, I need to come out here. There's yeah. my head cover. I need to come out here. Yeah, I agree with all that, Simon. When we pull the trigger, I've bowed the wrist on its yeah, inside. Yeah, it's flipping there, yeah? So you remember, feel, if it doesn't feel like this to you, you're probably not doing it. Yeah. And trying to, I, I think the big one for you, and you, you're on it really, is, is the bow of the wrist. Yeah. That causes more, you've got to be really, it's the chest, isn't it? It's this bit here, and this triangle stays intact to make the start of the taper, doesn't it? Yeah. So that bit does it, not your classic because that. that's the bit that gets you inside a bit more than anything, isn't it? Yeah. It's almost a, it's probably a better takeaway than we think, but you're bowed wrist. And you can drive a bus through there. Yeah. Um, so uh, I always think, I always feel, I always felt, feel that the left tricep does the work. That's it, I'm out there. That's it. Yeah. That's it. it for, for me, if I can get that first yard correct. And now look, do that again. Now look how close your arm is, you're online. Yeah. And it's, it's in here connect, rather than you connect it. Yeah. And I think that'll help this, won't it? Yeah. Because when you get here, 
anything can happen. When you're connected, you kind of got to stop short and get that long swing out of the way. Part of that is the restriction yeah. I have, and I've never ever been able to find the stop. Yeah. So it does that. Yeah. It goes from there to there. Right, so think about going away neutral sort of thing with yeah, it's the body with that the does the left hands, yeah. Let's try. See, when I do it right, I feel like I got a load of room. When I'm doing it wrong, I feel a little scrunched it's up. It's amazing, isn't it? Because it's actually the opposite, isn't it? Great, lovely square face on that. 0.2 open lip. I'm, I'm trying to see the carry. 148. Yeah, it's fine. So there's, there's, and here look, we're a little bit into out, 4.9. Yeah. That's a lovely square face. You know, efficiency score with 1.3 on an iron, you've got 1.28. And instantly there's half a club of... Of distance there, yeah. Right, so I was, I was, I was out there, wasn't yes. I? Yes, yes. Shot. Very good shot. Oh. I wasn't doing that this morning. <laughs> All wrapped up. Yeah, but like you say, you're, I mean, I can see you've been putting some work in because you're swinging it better now than when yeah. I first saw you. You've definitely put the work in. Like, out, it's cold, we're wrapped up. The ground's muddy. So let's try that again. So it's... it's, it's yeah, that's it's really left important. Shoulder. Yeah. Superb. See, that's the middle. That's what the middle feels like. <laughs> and that's... Mm. That's... Half to but, a club long, but don't be a normal goal for be negative. Be positive. I can do it. Is what you should be saying. Oh yeah. It takes time to take it to the the golf course, but at least we. Yeah, you, know, you can't. I say to lessons now. You can't turn around and go, Matt. I can't do this because I've just seen three perfect shots. Really, haven't we? I know. You that can do it. You've got to take these feelings. And bear in mind, it's only because I've done this today, not this. So yeah. that's why you weren't doing it this morning because you were going. Oh, that's nice and straight. Bow drift inside. Yeah. So now you're doing that takeaway, it's helped you out a lot. Right. Over there, left shoulder. Four, four arrows, isn't it? I've just said on there, when I finished, I said, I bet when I come in here, I mean, where I'm warm, yeah. And I'm getting a few reminders. Mm. It'll be like that. Uh, uh, but it's not. The numbers are good. Look, numbers are good. Yeah. Yeah. This efficiency, you'll know, is smash factor. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you, the, the, the more optimum that is 1.5 with the driver straight face. Yeah. You know, as soon as we get some loft deflection when we can't get 1.5. If you get 1.4 out of the seven. 1.3 is really, really well. uh, no, pros look for 1.4 on irons. We say to club golfers, 1.3 is amazing. So. It, yeah. Lovely balls, we love, you know, there's, it's just a good golf shot. You, you've got it, you just have to take this to the golf course, don't you? Yeah. Which a, ma a number of factors change. Your slopey lies. Oh, indeed, yeah. You know, hence you've got our little roundabout over there with the slopey lie training. I've had a lot of issues with wedges and nine irons. Right. Where I'm sort of like hitting that knife out to the right. Well, why is that? I think I'm, so, I so think I'm set up closed. We're flat. And then we're doing yeah, that. Yeah, we're flat. We're at, yeah, we exactly. Yeah. So I bet with this takeaway, it was sort of, you know. Oh, it was a little skinny. Yeah, that was the first, first one a little bit inside. Was that the first that was one the first inside? one a little bit bowed. If you watch back on your camera, you'll see that first one about five swings, you've got a little bit there. Yes. Yeah. Towards the toe, towards the hole. Yeah. Can I step up a couple of bats? Because we do a lot of work with a seven. 
We will try. We'll start with a skinny one. Mm -hmm. There's little things in when you're a golfer which I just think have a, <coughs> an effect you don't realise. So, see, when you're at the ball, yeah. your, your little swing trigger twitch is that. Is it? Yeah, which I think yeah. encourages that, doesn't it? So, remember when Mike Weir started it? See, so if you could start making your swing trigger that, so it's this doing it, isn't it? Yeah. Does it make sense? Yes. It's, it's probably totally subconscious to you. you. Again, you'll see back on that. Your little swing trigger is a little kink, basically a bow with the wrist, which you're trying to start. If you can make it that, so it's the, that left tricep starting it, I think that bow takeaway, bow wrist takeaway will disappear. If I go through my routine properly, rather than just I think standing by the side of the ball is no good. So I've picked this spot on the ground. Yep, there it goes. Yeah. See the strikes back? Yeah, just encouraging that shoulder takeaway rather than the bow wrist takeaway, aren't you? Um, uh, 12 holes, Robert's 118, I think. Yep. Robert's one and Um Of course, I haven't got any dots on this club, no, so I think he's picked up everything. Well. Craig, Craig is over. Oh, Tom, come in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's get it dotted up. Yeah. Yeah, this one isn't dotted up. You can um, I've tugged that last night. So, yes. Over there. Thank you. Use your shoulder, Simon. filming the flight and all sorts I hope. Well, what I do with that is I dump it on the computer then I put it onto my phone right. where I've got a little app called Shot Tracer. Right. It costs £5.99. Right. And it, what it does is it, it finds the impact point yeah. and then it tries to follow the golf ball and it will draw a line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you can adjust that line. Right. What was that carry? 166. Ooh. Not far off your first shot of 170, was it? Slightly skinny again, wasn't it? Yeah. I think that's that. The one I pulled, of course, went 180 because mm. you've got a shut club face. Right. Over there. Five out on the green ain't bad, is it? Have no English at all can be an even bigger laugh. Right. Because then you've got that communication difficulty that you can laugh about. Do they actually try and club you and stuff and all that though, or not? After about three holes, they'll start clubbing you. Right, okay. You've got to be careful. Um, I was on this one hole. Now, I'd gone past the 150 yard markers with my drive. Right. And she said 150, and I thought, 150 is there. Right. And I realised she was clubbing me for the wind. Right. So she, she'd, she'd added on 10 yards for the wind. Right. If I hadn't have thought about it, I'd have thought, 150 into the wind, I need a six iron. Mm. But, uh, so you've got to watch. You've got to watch what they're saying. You've still got to be switched on. You got in. Interpret or double check it almost. Yeah. But some of them are just, they'll drive your golf cart and they'll rake the bunker and they'll, they mark the ball, they clean the ball, they pull you the still have a cart as well, do you, with a caddy? Some courses are compulsory cart. Are they? Um, they only cost £10. <coughs> a compulsory cart, I don't, I don't like playing on carts. Kind of ruins my perception. Of the it does because you you get to the ball and you're going where? Yeah, am I? yeah, too soon. Yeah. Um, some are compulsory cart path. Right, which is really annoying. Which is annoying. 
the retired guys, the guys who've got divorced and they've gone to live out there with with their little local girl. <laughs> You know, they'll play the cheap Charlie courses, right? Where they can walk, and they they don't tip the caddy enough money and that right. sort of thing. Do you still have to have a caddy at those? Can you carry your own bag? No. Really? Nowhere. No. It's you are seen as a wealthy man. You will provide employment because you play golf. Yeah. Enjoyed that one. What's in the pond? I enjoyed that one. Oh. And the point of the matter is, and I haven't said a lot because you don't want to ruin before you. I mean, look at the scatter graph on the left. There's nothing. The one pull shot might get in trouble. One pull early on. The rest is in play, isn't it? Yeah. The rest is in play, and that's all you need. That's some decent bunch in there that's going to get around the golf course. It will. Nice warm weather, lucky kit. <laughs> With all that water, all that sand. Does it have a lot of water sand, does it? Oh, yeah. Does it? You go out there and you. you because you get the tropical thunderstorms, yeah. um, you tend to play forward, so you're playing par 72, 6,000 yards, because yeah. your drive goes splat. You're playing yeah. winter rules yeah. in 34 degrees. Huh. And uh, what this time of year? This is their monsoon season. Okay. It starts in April. Right. Do you always go this time of year? I'd normally go in the November. Right. Okay. Is that this is my one? November 2020 yeah, trip. Yeah, I know, I know. Which is crazy. Right. My favourite club. One nine five carry, please. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, nearly. Not far off, is it? 198? 198. Yeah. What a difference being warm is. <laughs> a lot of... Well, it's going to make a difference, isn't it? It's going to make a difference. <clears throat> Playing a par 3, it was Siam Country Club Old Course, where they play the Honda LPGA. And it was a par three, it was 195, and the flag was right on the right hand side. And all the, the greens at this course, they all do that. Right. And, and they're shaped. So if you miss a green, you're going down 30 yards. Uh, yeah. The best I've ever done on it is sort of like 80, 81. Right. And I, I hit this just right of the flag, between the flag and the edge of the green, which was yeah. only about eight feet, and it rolled up to the flag. And one of the other caddies, she said, Lucky. Lucky for Lang, which is Lucky Foreigner. Yeah. This is Lucky. I said, give me another ball. I'll hit the second one exactly the same. Nice. But that was the highlight of the round. And they say, you miss the green, you go in 30 yards away. Tough and golf, off. yeah. And the ladies shoot 66 round it. Uh, Although I think they're playing four, more forward tees than I do. You take for granted how good the ladies saw on the tour are. Oh, God, yes. They're very good. Mm. That's it. <coughs> Straight again. What's your handicap now? My index is 5.4, which okay. means 6. Right. But I have every intention of getting 4.9 this coming year. You will do hinder like that, won't you? Let's try the other shape. See if I can hit the other shape. You're right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Only, only just cut that enough. You're trying to cut it or draw it. I was trying to cut that one to hit the other one. Looking for the ball. It's just there. <laughs> Well, are you blind? Let's try that again. Just weaken that left hand a bit more. Come on. 
Turn, turn, baby, turn. So it's turn. Long. Just turn. Turn. No. Well, I hope there's any water. Yes. Two twenty out of that because of the draw. Yeah. You go out there and you play these courses, six thousand yards, par seventy-two, and you see it's rated at seventy, and a. 124 slope, and you're thinking, if an English guy came out and rated this with all the water and all the yeah. sand, there's, there's no way he would Do you rate find it. There's disparity in that. Oh, huge. So that's, that makes it mock of the world handicap system, then, doesn't it? So there, yeah. a, a 100 rating over there would be, you would say it's the same as a 100 rating here. Oh, not a chance. So that makes it ridiculous, then, doesn't it? Yeah. Plus, I, I very much doubt they will have a handicap chart outside the clubhouse. Oh really? Yeah, they, they won't they won't have bothered doing that. Right. Well this was gonna be a short video. But I'm absolutely fascinated just watching myself. I've muted the rest of this so I can talk over it. Now I've been working with Matt since about the end of September. And he's got a great way of communicating simply. There's no real technical stuff in here. And he teaches the pupil. And he teaches what the pupil is capable of doing. He doesn't teach a method. I'm absolutely certain that if I was 25 years old and my body would do what I wanted it to do, then he would have a slightly different approach to me. But I'm knocking on the door of 57 and I'm stiff and nothing works properly. So what you've got to teach really is a swing path and the club face to the swing path. And then it doesn't really matter if your swing is a little bit ugly if the path and the face all work out and that's basically what I'm doing now that Matt has straightened out a few kinks and we've all got kinks and it's important that you have that second lesson and you have that third lesson and that you practice between lessons and you try and make sure that you're doing the correction correctly and not overdoing it. After one of the lessons I had with Matt, I overdid it a bit. Tell that guy to get out of the way of the camera, will you? So I, of course I overdid it, I made it considerably worse. Oh, what a great view. You're missing me smashing three woods and smashing them rather well. So I've proven to myself that when I'm warm enough, come the spring, I'm going to be playing some decent stuff. But while I'm outside at the moment cold, then it, it comes and goes a bit. It's a shame that Matt's going. He's being replaced by a, a different guy, who I understand teaches in a different method. So I probably won't be seeing him in the future. I'll be going to wherever Matt goes. And remember, practice doesn't make perfect. Practice makes permanent. So if you're doing it wrong, you will continue to do it wrong. Cheerio.